morning class. Please take your seats. I'm very excited. Who can tell me which jump diff is coming up? Hanukkah! Yes. And one of the main parts of Hanukkah is lighting the menorah each day. But the laws can be quite confusing. We're going to play a game to see who remembers. Please get into your teams. I lit the menorah last year and the year before. This is so boring. Why can't we just start vacation early? I can't win until Hanukkah comes, especially for the Scooby's Jelly Donuts and Gel and Makas. My family's going to a Hanukkah party. My cousin is very good at dreidel, but I've been practicing. I'm still going to win this year. Scratch that. My mom says Hanukkah is the time to be busy with miracles, which basically means do nothing I want for eight days. I'm ready to get this over with. This is so boring. Okay, Team Hanukkah, push your menorahs for 20 points. Raise one hand if this is kosher, two hands if it's not. You have 30 seconds to prove your answer. Coffee. The menorah needs to, needs to be in straight candles so that we know what day we're supposed to be doing. Exactly. 20 points for Team Hanukkah. The menorah needs to be in a straight line and, if possible, made from the best materials to beautify the mitzvahs. It has nine branches. Team Sufka Yo, why does it have nine branches if you only celebrate the holiday for eight days? Dina. It has, it has nine candles because it has the shamash. The shamash is lighting all the candles. And if one, if, and if one candle blows up, the shamash is putting again fire. Excellent. 15 points for Team Sufka Yo. You guys are doing great. Huh? Fifth class, five second blitz. 30 points for any team that calls out the correct answer first. On air Shabbos, which comes first? Hanukkah Menorah or Shabbos candles? Hanukkah candles. We light the Hanukkah candles first because once we light, light Shabbos candles, we can't touch fire again. Wonderful. 30 points for Team Hanukkah. Okay, on Monday Shabbos, which comes first? Havdalah or Hanukkah candles? Havdalah! But remember, class, on Monday Shabbos and Show, they do the opposite. First comes Menaira, then comes Abdallah. I'm so impressed. You guys know the Allah is so well. Okay, class is dismissed. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. What took you so long? It's freezing. I could totally go for a hot sizzling latte. Go for two, three, don't let up. Come on, let's go. And why are you wearing a cap? Whatever. I hope mom didn't try to make those healthy zucchini latkes of coconut oil, but those were interesting. We're home. There you are. Dinner will be ready soon. Leora, can you please go to the store and get some potatoes and oil? Last year's latkes turned out to be pretty interesting, but I won't experiment with the latkes this year. Sure, Mom. Daddy, it's your turn to polish the menorah this year, and can you please do it today so it will be ready for Hanukkah? Mm. Wait, you use your left? What are you talking about? There's one here. I'm telling you, there's someone here.
going on? Who are you? Why are you looking to my cabinet? Oh, somebody told you I was coming. Sorry to start on you. I'm glad you came, because I'm having trouble finding what I need. What are you talking about? Who, who told you we were expecting you? What do you want from us? It's in the middle of the night. This is the courthouse, is it not? I got orders from General Lahoda to find supplies. We're, we're, we're literally desperate. I'm glad to see the mezuzah from the latest decrees. The mezuzah? Wait, General Lahoda, like Judah Maccabee? Is he saying what I think he's saying? Is something wrong? Anyway, I have to head back soon. They're waiting for me. Okay, let me get this straight. You were sent here in order to meet Judah Maccabee, get supplies for the war, and you need to get back soon because the army is expecting you. And? This is totally crazy. That happened like 1,000 years ago. Seems like now to me. One thing is for sure. If I don't get supplies, the Maccabees will die and sell our religion. You want our help? I thought you'd never ask. We need food, bandages, medicine for all the wounds and manpower. Follow me. By the way, my name is Danny. This is my sister, Lua. Luzia, Luzia Banana. What is that? Um, uh, Minora, didn't you say you worked for Judah Maccabee? It didn't happen yet. Oh, lamp. It's a lamp. Oh. Here, take this. What's this? A bagel or a tip of bread? No, it's a sack. I can see what's inside. How can that be? Duh, plastic. Never mind. Maybe we can take some of the oil that you used to light in your home. I never seen just bright and clear lights. They don't even flicker. You can't carry a lot of Oh, whatever. Too ugly to carry. But we can take this. Amazing. Are we ready? We. Wait. You're coming, aren't you? We need as many loyal people as we can get. Uh, we're not exactly experienced in these type of stuff. I and mean, are there any girls in the camp? I don't exactly want to hang around with you two all day. Are you kidding? My sister Miriam is the best spy we have. No one expects a normal looking girl to be a spy. I understand if you don't want to come. These are dangerous times. We may be few, we may be inexperienced, but we have the fire in, all, in our souls, a fearless leader. And we have a shem on our sides. So are you in? We're, we're in. in. Just give us two minutes. Who goes there? Friends! Hands up, don't move. Who is this? Friends, supplies. Oh, great, we'll bring them to General Yehuda. And Lucia, welcome back, you've been very brief. Wasn't Elazar, the brother of General Yehuda, supposed to be guarding today? I feel for our something terrible happens. Oh, you were awake. <laughs> Elazar. During the last battle, he spotted a large Greek elephant decorated royally for a big Greek general. He went through the Greek line and killed the elephant with his spear, killing also the Greek soldier. That's great! What a victory! Victory! What a tragedy! The elephant plunged through its death kill up, and, but it fell without a lot of killing him. He died all the Shem, fighting the battle with the Shem. Oh! I remember that story. I hate it every time. I can't bear to hear every time another Jew dies to these evil Greeks until we get our true victory. <laughs> oh, my friends, why such long faces? Can you hold up? Uziel Baum has returned and we just informed him of the happenings of the last battle. Uziel, we were wondering about you. What took so long? Well, the camp was very dangerous, but it's worse because we bought back. Two good helpers and supplies. I am Danielle Ben um, David Akayan, and this is my sister Lior. David Akayan, who's your father? I might know. No, um, he doesn't um, like live around here. I I don't think you've ever met him. Um, maybe someday I will. So you guys are ready to join our revolt and join the Maccabee camp, starting from my father Matisayo. The, the son of Yochanan in Modin when he said, Mila Hashem Elad. Who is for Hashem? Follow me. Danny, you are going to stay here with Suzio and stay around the Maccabee camp and watch it and guard it. And Liora, you're going to go with Uziel's sister Miriam and um, spy around and protect us. And remember, the weapons will not win you victory, only Hashem. Is this
more soldiers in this area. Father says that General Yehuda suspects that we know we are in the hills and are planning a major attack. Oh no, Miriam. What can we do? If only we knew their full strength, a solid plan could be formed. Oh look over there, I see a group of them. There's eight, sixteen. If only I could count faster. I see eight groups of thirty-two. Two hundred fifty-six. What? Two hundred fifty-six of them. There are two hundred fifty-six soldiers in the group. What? How do you know? It's simple multiplication. Eight times two equals sixteen. Carry the one. Eight times three plus one equals twenty-five. That's two hundred fifty-six. Wow, I've never heard of mom, whatever it is. It's amazing. Can you do it for all the soldiers we see? Sure. I ate yeah, my last math test. Oh, okay, whatever. All we need to do is remember how many soldiers there are and where they are. What? Sure, we can write it down. What? Are you joking? A pot of ink and a quill is definitely not the way she's conspicuous. And we can't even form parchment. What are you doing? Look, all written down. What? You can write without ink and a few marks remember everything? That's incredible, just incredible. Isn't it magic? You were sent by Hashem in the darkest of times. I'm glad I met you, Leora Cohen. I'm glad too. Seeing the way those soldiers walk around on our holy ground, thinking they can do whatever they please with the Torah and those who follow it, makes my blood boil. Give it back! Give me my blood! <laughs> Only they knew, they just walked right by the two greatest spies in history. <laughs> having my fun with this Jew. It's disgusting the way that Judah, how he disgraces the army of the great, the mighty, the powerful, the hefty, Antiochus Epiphany. Why, when I get my hands on him, who knows what I'll do to him and his group of farmers. <laughs> He's only have a small bit of a rat. You hear that Jew? Now, down down to this Greek idol. Never. You may have control over our bodies, but no, nothing will make us give up our souls. You crazy man? You practically ask me to die. Hashem is the only true and everlasting God. He will never let his name be disgraced by people like you. If your God is so great as you claim, then why is he not saved your people until now? Look around you, Jew. People are Your people are already sacrificing all of our idols. It's people like you that are stopping the world from progressing. Why in a thousand years from now, no one will even have heard of the Torah. Now, enough of this talk. You have one chance to kill. Back to that idol right over there, or you'll be your last breath. Never. Show us the only true God. We will kill you in the name of the great, the mighty, the powerful, the hefty, Antiochus Epiphany. Prepare to die. Shemaiza, segregate him, Shemaiza. We need to help him. They're going to kill him. And risk being found as spies of of the Maccabees? This has been happening for years now. All we can do is report this back to camp. I don't get it. Why did everyone just stand there and watch while the soldiers beat that man? Didn't anyone care? Wait, Danny, what you saw today at the marketplace happens all the time in, in all cities in Judea. The, the ones who can't handle it join the Maccabees. The rest, they either don't care or they're too afraid. For years now, Jewish people have been giving in to the Greeks and become Messiavim, Hellenists. Like my friend Yaisi, or should I say, Jason. His family joined the gymnasium, started to wear Greek fancy clothing, and he never spoke to me again. His uncle is the governor of the city and good friend, friends with Metalaeus, the false Kain Gadol that Antiochus appointed. How can they appoint a Kain Gadol? Yeah, but he did. After the Jewish people rebelled against Menelaus, Antiochus became enraged. He started to forbid the basic Jewish laws. And then Shabbos, Kosher, Mismila, and Torah study. They turned the base of Mikdash into a temple for their gods. Anyone that disobeys is sentenced to be killed. If he has his way, Jewish, the Jewish religion will be lost. Wow, no wonder you fly into death with your hood to get the base of Mikdash back. You no. Know, Sometimes I wonder, was all this worth it? Maybe the soldier was right. In a hundred years, thousand years, will any of this even matter? Will anyone even remember the story of the Maccabin?
It will. It will matter. Hashem will make a miracle and make you, I mean us, win. And we will get Yerushalayim and the base of Mikdash back. And the word Maccabee, in a thousand years from now, will make Jews proud in themselves and the Torah. And it may even become a holiday, this story. And it might even be called Hanukkah. Yes, Hanukkah and the oil. The oil? Never mind that. Just I know that Hashem will make a miracle for the people that fight for Him. You know... You say some pretty trancing sometimes, but you're giving me hope. Now mm -hmm. let's get some sleep. Tomorrow, we spy. Oh, come on, girls. Come on, my daughter, Miriam. And Leora. Come my chat Isn't this dangerous? I thought keeping Shabbos was illegal. My mother is one of the bravest women in Judea. Every week, we light Shabbos candles because we listen to the King of Kings and not to King Antiochus. They have some racist name. Judah and Will, Miriam, my daughter. You're just like the Holy Hannah and Yehudis. Oh, I know those people. Hannah bravely watched all of her sons refused to um, refused to bow to Greek idols as they were each killed. And Yehudis bravely chopped off the general's head. How do you know? Are you a prophetess? She is a great spy. The name of the great, the mighty, the powerful, the heavy, of the All right, let's do this again. In the name of the great, the mighty, the powerful, the heavy, of the Ophiphanos. We made great time, Baruch Hashem, but you should get back to the camp with Yehuda to give him the information. Yes, the magical parchment. Do you still have that from your sister's safe? With those numbers and the amount of soldiers that we have in the city, we should be able to win our next attack. Oh, the paper. Yep, I have it. Oh, the papyrus? Are we speaking the same language? Either way, I'm finished. And hot from running. Um, here, do you want something to eat? Something quick and nourishing would be appreciated. Maybe for some fresh steaks or a barley cake? Granola bar, bananas? I'm not so sure what that is. But it looks like some type of fruit. Oh yeah, you peel it like this. And then you eat the insides. The great, the mighty, the powerful, the head. Hey, what's that? What's that? Soldiers, quick, run! Ah! Oh, who goes there? There have been people sitting on this rock. Oh, one of the rebels? We will catch you! In the name of, of the Greeks! Look at it! Oh, hello, you are. Hi, I have a mission for you. Give this food to the children in the forest. Children alone in the forest? Of course, every day they go there to learn Pharaoh with one of the Maccabin. But today, thanks to our information, they are fighting a war, so we will be with them instead. Shalom, Ima. Bye.
Hashem, we have reclaimed our base of big dust back, and we can start serving Hashem and fulfilling His mission again with glory and joy. I never imagined it would look like this. Did you ever see the base of made this before the war? It was much nicer. Just standing here was enough to inspire you. But now... I thought you'd just clean it up and put everything back in place. Jen, you're so right. Instead of just standing here and not cleaning and not doing anything and being in shock and despair, we should start cleaning up and bring the ba base of make this back to the, to the way it was. Thank, thank you, Denny for being here. You are such a great Maccabee and helping us with the war. I wish I could meet your parents one day to tell them about the great children they have. Yeah, maybe one day. Attention, attention! Okay, get settled down. So, although we may not have found the base of Mikdash in the state that we all wanted to find it, we must continue to fulfill Hashem's mission we will remove all the traces of, of idols. Once again, we will start bringing carbonites and we will light the Minera as we used. I'm so excited for the lighting of the Minera. It's going to be so cute. Hey, what's wrong? There's not going to be a lighting. The Greeks still managed to rule over us, even after we defeated them. There's no oil left. What do you mean? There are jugs of oil everywhere. Yes, but the seal of the Golden Gunnel has been broken. The Greeks don't care if we have oil. They care if it's pure and holy. I understand if you, if you, if you want to leave. I bet you miss your family a lot. I'll, but there's not much to do here besides find the oil, and that's going to take like five, eight days. Except we'll miss you. I miss the end of the story, but I guess you're right. Come on, Daddy, let's get our things. Uzziel, Miriam, Leora, come quickly. What is it? <gasps> the dedication will continue. <laughs> We're here right now. I mean, I've heard this story a bunch of times. Um, I can even see it in my sleep, and it's amazing that we're here in the base of Mikdash um, with everybody working on that small jug of oil lasted for eight days. And people are slowly coming back. Like Uziel told me that Jason and his father came yesterday, and Jason's father was talking to Yehuda about strategies to, the, to end this war now that we have the base of Mikdash back. I know. I can't believe it, but being here with the Maccabees for the last few days, fighting their war, being with them in their sorrow or suffering, it makes me realize what a great miracle this all was. I can't believe it's real. My friends will never believe me. Talking about friends, we had a great time with Uziel and Miriam, but we can't stay here forever. I know, I guess. Come. Stuff. Race, wash the home, does the dishes. Wait, wait up! No, no, no. Kids, it's time to get ready for the menorah lighting. Dad will be on the scene. Now, I always forget. Which way do we start? You range right to left and you light left to right. And you say three brachas. Uh, like near Hanukkah. Shasa Nisim Avaisenu and Shechianu um, if it's your first time. Then we let it burn for 30 minutes and we light it in the doorway opposite the mezuzah so that we can be surrounded by mitzvahs. Do you know the menorah has to be lit when people are still awake? Since the point of lighting the menorah is to let everyone know about the miracle of Hanukkah. Yeah, and in the last few years, there have been thousands of public menorah lightings all around the world. Some in really cool places. Like the Eiffel Tower in France, the Kremlin in Russia, and even the Dream in other States. Wow, kids, I'm impressed. How do you guys know this much? Do you learn these Hanukkah facts in school? Sort of. It's kind of a long story. Well, I'll just say Hanukkah means a lot to us. I'm sure there's a way that we can tell more people about Hanukkah too. Yeah, maybe we can make a film about it. Nah, how do we do that? Ooh, maybe we can 
we could go to the mall and see if there are any Jewish people there who want to learn more about Hanukkah. Wow, that's a great idea. I can actually drive you there after school tomorrow. Yes, I could call Avi to see if he wants to come. Avi? a seemingly impossible battle so that we can be Jewish today. Yeah, the oil, the war, that was all God's hand and his amazing miracles. To teach us a lesson to never give up. Even when times are hard, you have to remember that a little bit of light and goodness can chase away even the strongest darkness. You know, seeing you kids makes me inspired. You know, you guys are so interested and spirited in the Judaism. I am definitely going to be lighting the menorah. And after I put away my shoes, Definitely. But the greatest miracle of all is that even today we are celebrating and remembering the story of Korka. I'm sure General Yohaza will be very happy that the message of the Korka likes led to each and every one of us today. Thousands of years later, we're coming up with Shia and Miyoko. You too. You can be like the map. This Hanukkah. Spread the message of the lights. Help someone else. Celebrate Hanukkah. Remember, a bit of light pushes away a lot of darkness. If we all work together, we will succeed. To bring the light of Hanukkah to the entire world. Hello and welcome to the High Five Flows. Today we are talking about Jomo, please. Hanukkah. Hanukkah doesn't only mean um, menorah and candles, but what does it mean? There are actually, you guessed it, five reasons. Number one. Hanukkah equals Hanu Chafe, because on Chafe Kislev, they rested from the War of the Maccabees. Number two. Hanukkah means inauguration, because they rededicated the base of Mikdash from the Greeks. Number three. Hanukkah stands for Ches, Hashanayim, Nun, Miskavru, Bav Behargu, Chaf Kol, Hei Ha'ayim. Not going to be strengthened themselves and killed all of their enemies. Hanukkah also stands for Ches, Ches, Nun, Neiros, Vav, Vihalacha, Chaf, Kibes, He, Hilo. Eight candles and the halacha we follow is from the house of Hilo. Number five. Hanukkah comes from the word Chinuch because the Greeks forbade all Jewish education. So that's why we have many halachas that fall for, for children. Thank you for watching. High five club. Hey, Tui, what should we do for a DYK? Um, probably the davening of Hanukkah. Oh, yeah, that's such a short idea. What is it? Like, Hallel? Um, I think it's Vahal and Yisim. Yeah, um, wait, also. Vahal and Yisim? Yeah, full Hallel, even though it's not a holiday. Bam, which means this. Yes, I have I don't know about for a minute, but... No, it's a uh, Oh, it's a Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay, never mind that. But what does that be mean? Well, that can be that so you can help with me. When it's God's glory, when it's might, um, there's like God, when it's might, there's like God, when it's extinguisher, and when it's might, there's like God. Oh, like, you know that drill thing? Why don't you have a second? Well, actually, if you look at the tree, you stick on it, and look at the gravity, you stick on the bottom. I mean, it's because it's a real system. And, um, a lot, you 
The Greeks wanted us to do something bad with the uh, money. So instead, we did it something good. And also, we use it for a reward for cho for children for learning Torah. Great job, Mochi! And as a bonus, if there is a choice between Kiddush wine and Hanukkah, candles. candles. Great! In the olden days, they used to give gout to poor people to buy Hanukkah candles. And Mochi, here is your million dollars. And fake money, of course. <laughs> From Slater Tora Academy, Happy Monica!
Perfect. Dinner will be ready soon. Leora, can you please go? Oh, <laughs> babies laugh. Hey, no, not even. Oh. Action. Oh, there you are. Dinner will be ready soon. Leora, can you please go? This. <laughs> Action. Leora, can you please stop? Laura, think laugh. Mom, think of something really sad, okay? <laughs>